Well, you can save the fingers because it's no need to count how many days we've been without the rain. It's good for those events out there, mm -hmm. Dustin, but not so good for people's lawns. No, no, it's not. And with each passing day, it's like, you know, more and more brown, dead grass. Yeah. And, and I know a couple of towns and things have been putting up the burn bans. So we talk about the outdoor events, right? Correct. The Eaton County Fair. It's great weather for all that stuff, beaches and the pools. But if you want to do things like bonfires, oh. Uh, of course, probably still a few fireworks going off from time to time. Right. That is not a good idea. Exactly, because it is too hot for that grass out there and can mm. easily start a fire. It really could, and they spread quickly. You know, mm. So it's just a question of safety. Keep an eye on things. If you're looking for rain, no relief in sight. Local radar, nice and clear. Beautiful weather. Said that a hundred times, right? Beautiful conditions. But passing cloud cover here and there, no rain to speak of, nowhere nearby. Low to mid 80s for a lot of us. We did reach a high of 86 so far in Lansing, down to 84 already. Winds are pretty light. Warm day, very seasonable average weather today with low humidity again, 50s and 40s for most of our dew point. Dew points, that's very comfortable level of moisture, which put that together with the temperatures. I mean, there's a minimal heat index today. This is a good, comfortable day. It's like that for a lot of the Great Lakes. You see the 90s and the triple digits out west, though. I mean, that really hot, really humid air. We've seen a lot of that already this season. It's moving back in for the weekend. It's going to be a few more days. It's a slow incline from here. Around the region, still a lot of dry weather, plenty of sunshine. You do see some clouds and a little bit of rain up towards Minnesota into the UP. It's not much. They'll see a little bit more than we will in the coming days. So yes, for us down here in mid-Michigan, it's more dry weather. Becoming hot, becoming humid again. We'll see at least a couple days, 90 or hotter into the weekend. Now the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, does have a chance for some storms. But more storms are expected Monday. The weekend really might just be very iffy. A couple spotty showers and storms here and there. Maybe not quite enough to uh, to give us the relief that we need from this dry spell. But in your future track tonight, mostly clear or even completely clear skies. Plenty more sunshine through Thursday morning and afternoon. Another day that should get us close to 90. We were expecting some earlier cloud cover, but looks like it's going to be holding off. So more sunshine. I pushed tomorrow's temperature up to about 89. Into Thursday night, some partial cloud cover. Now, I do see a couple of these green spots. They might be nearby. I still don't expect any rain here Thursday or Friday. More sunshine for a lot of Friday's forecast. Next chance for rain is Saturday. Chance for rain. We do have this little cold front coming through. Might kick up a few storms Saturday afternoon. Might not be much though, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. Mid and upper 50s tonight. Clear skies. Very comfortable night. Calm winds into tomorrow. Near 90 might reach 90. I'm saying 89 for now, but mostly sunny, very warm day, not very humid. Similar on Friday, maybe another degree or two warmer, 91, low 90s into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Chances for storms, a few possible Saturday and a few more possible Sunday, not washouts, nothing serious. Monday, we are expecting a cold front to bring more widespread storms. So that will hopefully give us the relief that we need. Yeah, because we need that quench to be thirst. Yeah. I mean, we, we're waiting for it. Yeah. Awesome, Dustin. Thanks for that information.